This is uh, Morten from Inkish. Uh, I have the pleasure today being with Haim from Icon in Israel. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. I asked you just before if you dream about the Vulcan. Yeah, and I said yes. Because and now the, uh, everybody can just speculate what is the Vulcan. And we are standing <laughs> in front of something that is it's not a finished product. It's still under development. Uh, because of Drupal, you have chosen to focus a little bit more on some other things right now. But this is still a very exciting project. But we have to know what is it. Yeah, yeah. And as you know, we are focusing on the folding carton and the Beam 3. And also the Vulcan is a code name. Okay, we are really, really in development. So you're not calling the Vulcan when it's finished? Uh, probably not, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? Yeah. Okay. yeah, you need to wait and see. But this is a code name. Uh, but we are here next to a lab prototype. Okay, the lab prototype is working. The Vulcan is a, is a game changer for us. We are talking about 1.4 to 1.7 meters uh, size of a, of a sheet, 5 to 10 meters changeover, minute changeover, and also full stripping. Okay, so very quickly, when we're talking about short to medium runs, you will have a product fully stripped at the stacker. And I mean, when you look at it, it is, uh, I mean, I have followed Hikon for many years, as you may know, right? But I mean, when you look at it, it seems like now we're talking real industrial production, right? Yeah, yeah. When we are talking about up to 3,000 sheets per hour, which is about 7,000 uh, square meters per hour, we are talking about uh, production, real production, 24-7. Everything here is in industrialized and the uh, high speed to meet the customer needs. Mm. Uh, Haim, I can't help thinking about it because, I mean, uh, Hikon has always been like the, let's say, the disruptors and, uh, and, uh, and actually the, the people in the market that started all this uh, laser die cutting, right? Uh, taking it from, let's say, the first machines that you did many years ago to this one, how big an engineering challenge is it? I will separate it to, to technology and engineering, yeah. okay? We are based on our technology and we have 15 years or 13 years yeah. of uh, knowledge yeah. that we are implementing here. This yeah. is why we are very fast arrived to the Vulcan uh, being a lab prototype running with all the technology. Engineering wise, we also have the knowledge and we also work with uh, different OEMs for the feeding and the stacking. We are using the industry standards and knowledge integrated to our core technology and you have a Vulcan. Um, and uh, I mean, uh, what I understand from you just before we started the interview, you said that you have uh, you and your team have been visiting a lot of converters to have a, let's say, a feel for what is the need in the market, right? Yeah, yeah. We worked with a lot of, uh, in the process of the research to, to know what is the right fit. At the end, we want a product market fit and the customer will know how to tell us. We did a lot of interviews, a lot of surveys with the big players in the industry to understand it. And also in the foundation customer, we have big players as a design partner to give, give us the real uh, inputs to have the right uh, product. What I also understand, which is uh, something I see more and more in, in our industry, is that you invite, let's say, uh, customers to participate uh, in, in being the early adopters uh, by inviting them into your program. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, we have, we are, currently we have already five foundation customers. Congratulations, that, I mean, that's super nice, right? Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's uh, big, uh, big customers. And uh, we, we have them, they have also the BIM 2C, that we, our current product. This, the Vulcan, of course, is the uh, uh, next Drupa portfolio product. So we have already have them inside the part of the process and so on. But we also give an option now to have a, an option for the future to the general market. We have 15 slots for, for, for a customer to buy an option for delivery uh, at the Drupa area time. Uh, one thing is, of course, it's nice to have partners that can uh, be part of the, let's say, funding of uh, technology like this. But I take that having somebody that is heavily vested in the technology like this are also interested in giving you a lot of input for making the machine perfect, right? Yeah, yeah. We, have, we got the, uh, during the process, we all the time uh, giving the foundation customer again, the ones that are the design partners in the process, the time to learn what we progressed, what we did. What are the challenges? And they have given us a lot of inputs, how to make it perfect, as you mentioned. And uh, you told me also before we started the interview that if you compare for people that knows the beam and the Euclid, it is, was it like four, five times faster? Or it was, I mean, it was- It's, it's size-wise, it's like three times uh, sheet size. Okay, so okay. alone that will of yeah. course give you a lot yeah. of- uh, and yeah. power, power, power perspective, because yeah. at the end, the engine is the laser, yeah. you can call it. Yeah. It's four times faster. Okay. So that basically means that now we are in a situation where it is, 
I mean, as you also said, it's not intended to be something that replaces the analog die cutting, but it's basically for the medium short run where you today would use dies. Basically now, Hikon has a solution for, for having something that is uh, soon going to be very attractive for the market, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we believe in the right tool for the right job, but we do see the need for short to medium runs, for fast delivery, okay, for uh, no MOQs, for creativity. All of this, the Vulcan will bring. I can see that you are very passionate about the product, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you're the project manager or the product manager for this, right? I'm the VP product and I was part of the process uh, during uh, all the process of it, yeah. of bring, bringing it. Are you, are you unpatient? I mean, uh, all are the you, time. Are you, I mean, you want it out there, yeah, right? As, yeah. as a comp company culture, we want to go, be faster and into the market and have the right solution to the market, but we still need to develop it because uptime and availability is something that we, we know the market also needs, yeah. not only the, the technology. Mm -hmm. So, Haim, uh, when I think about uh, Hikon back 13 years and maybe even from the last Drupa, uh, it seems that you have changed focus a lot from, let's say, the fine paper uh, cutting to more into the packaging segment. So when you decided to develop a, a, a system like the Vulcan, what are the intentions with it? Our intention with the Vulcan is to mainstream digital die cutting for corrugated market, for packaging and display. You will have the ability to run production, short to medium runs with the industrial uh, capabilities with the Vulcan. And just to nail it 100%, it's still a machine that uses lasers and also have the DART system that we know from the previous uh, Hikon machines, right? Yeah, the core technology is based on what we have now. We'll have the lasers and we'll have the creasing, but we'll have as a baseline the Vulcan writer. At the end, for having a fast changeover of five to 10 minutes, you need to have a Vulcan writer. You have the planning uh, capability for your production and fast setup and you'll have your uh, production. So the Vulcan Rider is basically, instead of having it built in to the machine, you have it as an offline process, so the machine is not occupied while you yeah, are, yeah. are doing the, the, exactly. the dart. Mm -hmm. Exactly, when we look on the production and we're talking about short to medium runs, you'll have a lot of setups, you'll have a lot of changeovers. So we'll have the Vulcan Rider, you'll do it offline in parallel to the production, and then the quick changeover and run another production. Um, Haim, I can't help thinking about because it's not so often that uh, Inkis and, and the media is invited into the secret chambers of, uh, of, the, of the development labs. Uh, why is it important for you to tell about this uh, product right now? We, we looked at the corrugated market. We said, okay, we have what we have now, which also gives benefits to the customer today. But we wanted to have the customer have an opportunity to have a, a glimpse to the future and have their strategy set to the right solution in the, in the future as, as well. This is why we want to, to people know about the Vulcan and have the opportunity for the option program to enter to the, to the Vulcan uh, program. And see, uh, Inkis is just so lucky that we are the first to see it, right? You are one of the few in the world, yeah. that's, this is I can say. Of course, the Faudeshi customers saw it before you, but in a way, only them. So be proud to be one of the first. Fantastic, thank you, Han. Thank you. Great talking to you. Great talking to you.